Well, boys, have a look where you are in Manly. Look at this place. How good's it playing for your local area? You can stay home and play here. Yeah, it's a good day. You know, we really love it. Obviously, growing up here, it's um, a big part of our life. And, you know, to get to play for the Seagulls, we both really love it. And, yeah, it's really enjoyable. Well, you're both from Monaval, which is about half an hour without traffic yeah. down the road. <laughs> Do you always want to play for Manly? Oh, yeah, you know, obviously growing up around the area and, you know, you go watch the Manly team on the hill every, every weekend and used to love watching them. So it's always a, a dream of ours to play for this great club and, it's, yeah, now that we're doing it, it's pretty special. My little boy played for Motorvale Raiders, both the yep. junior club. I used to notice, especially you, Jake, you played in first grade, but the next day you'd be down the junior footy all day, working in the kiosk, coaching a team or running the line, you know, being a linesman giving back to the local club, where does that come from or why did you do it? Well obviously enjoyed coaching the kids and, and that sort of thing, getting down and watching them on the Saturday so yeah I guess we grew up doing it and it was just a big part of our life growing up so I just kept doing it, yeah. Sporting, you're a bit of a genetic free, Sydney Swans, wanted to sign you? I did, I did a little bit in the, in the academy but not, not, not too much, I always enjoyed playing the league more. Or well, why league? Why did you choose the league? Uh, I think it's just a game I grew up with, I, you know, that's the first sport I ever watched, first sport I ever played and I always loved it. I guess a few, few years there, my dad thought it would be a good idea to play AFL and it was really enjoyable, but for me, my passion was always league. Here's Trubojevic! Trubojevic explodes away! Here's Trubojevic for two! What about Origin this year? Jake, you played Origin last year. What did you learn? How different a game it is? Yeah, it was obviously such a great experience. It was a dream come true to play for the Blues and, you know, it was really disappointing the way the series went, but, um, yeah, it was, it was a massive learning curve for me, obviously, this step up. I think that first game there, hit, when, I, when I got on there, I was so tired. It was one of the fastest games I've ever played. Game two, you play that inside pass to Tedesco. Do you see that happening, or is that Tedesco calling, or do you understand? Because you seem to me you understand depth and space. Yeah, if it's on, try, yeah, try and pass it, you know, it looks good. And if it comes off like that, it's, yeah, it's awesome. Oh, just talking of Trevojevic, and he was absolutely magnificent. What about Origin this year? Have you two spoke about playing together at Origin level? No, I haven't, haven't really spoke about it. We're just happy playing, playing for Manly together and um, look to, to make those sides, you've got to play well uh, for your club, so that's what we're looking to do. Trent Barrett, tell me about Baz. Oh, he's, um, yeah, he's, he's, he's such a good coach, you know, we, we love playing under him. Um, learned so much, so much playing under him, as is everyone, you know, everyone's sort of gone to another level. One thing I've noticed about the way Trent coaches, he coaches to the player's strength. There's a lot of plays around the ruck, which yeah. bring you into play. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I said, he, he's a really good talker, but he's also really good listener. He knows, and he knows how each player likes to play, and he, I think that helps bring the best out of everyone. There's an example of Jake Trebojevic's tremendous tackling technique. You're a bit of a throwback where you tackle low and you cut guys in half. Where does that come from? I, I had a coach, he coached me from under sevens to, right through to when I finished at the Raiders, under 17. So well, who's that? Oh, his name's Steve Wilson. And I, he used to teach us to tackle low, so I guess now it's just natural to me. I don't, don't really think too much about it, it just sort of happens. Most brothers have little quirks and we know secrets about each other. I know I've got a lot of secrets about my brother. <laughs> Uh, tell us something about Tom. Yeah, I, was, I think, you know, he's very book smart, genius when it comes to school and uh, university and all that sort of stuff. He does economics, which is, you know, horrible. But, um, yeah, but when it comes to, you know, common sense in life and, you know, following schedules, he struggles, struggles a fair bit, you know. He can't, so you have to look after him? Yeah, you've got to look after him. OK, Tom. Tell us something about Jake no one knows. Now that I've been stitched up, I'm going uh, yeah. Get him back, you know. One thing that I don't think anyone really knows this is he's addicted to his hair. Like he'd be, he'd be trying to like leave to go to training and stuff, and he'd be too busy doing his hair. Yeah, he gels it up, gets every every product in the book. When do you both come off contract? Do you come off contract together? Yeah. Yeah, 2020. So we've got a few more years. Yeah. yeah. Will you always stay together? Will you always play together? Hopefully we can stay playing together at Manly. That'd be ideal. But um, you never know what happens in football. You know, it's it's a funny game. And oh, except we, we grew up here. We love it here and. Uh, you know, we, we want to play together, that's, that's, we really enjoy it. Trebojevic hits the ball hard, and he goes in to score! Trebojevic, you'll read!